Alright guys, it is Slinky here and welcome to, to some really exciting news that I actually just found out today and actually a few minutes ago about some interesting things, revelations coming back and don't worry, as far as you know, it's not tower defence. I think it's important to mention that the person who actually wrote this article has actually played the game and has actually interviewed the um, the query director. One of the main features coming back from revelations is bombs. I loved bombs as you can actually manipulate the crowd to, to work the way you want them or the guards. Just to quote here, they are the essentially the tools for manipulating the artificial intelligence of a crowd. They are the ultimate tool in an arsenal of, of tools that the Assassin's Creed series has given the player through the iteration of the franchise and I completely agree with that. I thought that was one of the best things you could do from Assassin's Creed Revelations of craft bombs. Um, I thought it was better than the hook blade and it was way better than tower defence. Um, I think it was just really cool how you could distract guards and then you can kind of slip past. I thought it was really well done and I suppose it was just brilliant how how different it was to the Assassin's Creed franchise, which I, I'm actually really glad it's coming back from Revelations into Unity. Obviously, there's some other additions like the <coughs> the stealth the stealth button where you go into crouch. Uh, Arnold's hard is harder to detect. Or um, th what I really like about the new uh, navigation system is how they've changed the way that um, you go up a building. You don't, you know, follow a pattern of climb up to a window, go right, go left, go go straight up and then turn right a little bit you know uh, take down a guard and then get off I, I think that's really great because it's getting a bit old now and um, what it is is that you'll you will kind of you'll you'll maneuver the way it's different how you get up a building because it's um it's it's a next generation game a lot more animation can be used or a lot more space for animation or when you get to the top of a, top of a building um, the, the, this thing will be automatically turned on where, you, where you, if you look around uh, all the things that are in a certain vicinity of your area will be lo uh, highlighted on a map like a little icon so it will make you say let's say you want to go to a shop and you get to the top and you think okay there's a, there's a blacksmith over there I'll go over to him see what he has for sale and then you go back up to the top and you're ready for your mission you go back to the mission and there's no need to have to like go into the mini map scour look scour down the mini go scour down the map that's displayed on screen to find the mission because that, that gets a bit annoying it's just there it's on display and it's just really handy to have that we are also aware that if you've watched the the demo by the creator director he will say that those Persians are divided into three factions cops and guards they will simply they will simply try to get order to be maintained they will do anything two aggressors are a sort of faction that are political extremist factions that will do anything to make you believe their views and number three is the is the crowd itself. They are the revolutionaries. Some of them are armed, are armed themselves, and they can react to a situation. So if you if you killed a guard, or maybe you killed an innocent civilian, they will absolutely freak out and take out the weapon, um, and they, they they will feel like all right, it's up to it's up to us to take it into our um, take it to ourselves to kill these um the these people. Or if let's say you're being attacked by guards and they know that they're uh. Pr uh guards that support the the stopping of the revolution they will come over and help you out and they will try to stop the guards from killing you which I think is just such an incredible incredible uh, addition to the game because it makes you feel like okay people are actually on my side and I reckon that might actually feed into a reputation system of um let's just say you you're, ki you're killing people that are evil uh, they will they will help you if you've been attacked by guards but let's just say you're maybe killing people that have nothing to do with revolution or you're doing the completely wrong thing like you're disturbing people's homes and you're killing random people they will in fact help the guards try to kill you which i think would be a uh, hopefully that's in the game i think that's a really interesting part uh, or a way to make crowds react to your actions which has been um something that's been lacking in the series since maybe ac1 where if you help the citizens they might give you information or they might actually be there to help you i just think it's a really cool addition Another thing is that Eagle Sense is back from Revelations that Etsu had where he could trace blood. Um, and this is back in Revelations, which I think is... Uh, when, when I'm actually looking back, I thought there was some really good stuff in Revelations that maybe it was explored more in later Assassin's Creed games, which it has been now, would actually be really cool. So, um, Amachio says that there's 1,000 stories of Paris. The idea is that the game, vast city, and, ma and many explorable interiors will be full of treasure hunts, contracts, and even stuff as well as not, not even a mission. Go into a house, there's a dead body, use eagle sense, see the blood, see traces, follow it and find something secret or find a letter that tells you something about about things in a per person's life. That's really cool because in Revelations you could you can kinda of trace people's footsteps and bloods, which I think was 
cool but it, it just kind of felt like something you were obligated to do and it made it feel like a bit of a cheat where it's like all right i need to find this guard okay let's press let's press down the left stick oh wait there he is done it you know finish or done it's so simple where this actually gives you information that might help you with a mission or might help you find out why this person was killed um so maybe he was killed for a good reason or maybe this person just wants to go on a murderous rampage i think that's it's just it just looks it's a really cool 